welcome to the spoken tutorial on header footer and notes in this tutorial we will learn how to insert header insert footer remove header and footer from the first page and insert footnote and endnote in a document this tutorial is recorded using ubuntu linux os version 18.04 and LibreOffice Suite version 6.3.5. Open the file newsletter.odt which we have created earlier. This file has been provided to you in the core files link on this tutorial page. Please download and extract the file. Make a copy and then use it for practicing. First, we will learn how to insert a footer in our document. Click on the insert menu in the menu bar and go to the header and footer option. Now check the use header slash footer menu option if it is unchecked. Scroll the page and click on the bottom of the text area to display the footer marker. The footer marker appears in our document. Click on the plus symbol next to the word footer. We see that the footer is added to the bottom of the page. Another way to add a footer in our document is by clicking on the insert menu in the menu bar. Go to the header and footer option. Select footer sub menu and choose the default style option. Either ways, the cursor is in the footer area. To add a page number in the footer, click on the down arrow of footer default style. Then select insert page number option. Immediately we see that the number 1 is displayed in the footer. In order to give different styles to the page number, double click on number 1. Edit fields dialog box opens up. We have three different sections under edit fields. Type, select and format. Under the format section, we can see many formats like ABC in lower case, ABC in upper case, and many more. I will select the format first, second, third, and then click on the OK button at the bottom. Observe that the numbering format for page 1 changes from 1 to first. Next, let us learn to insert a header into the document. Scroll above and click on the top of the text area in the document. The header marker appears in our document. If not, click on the plus symbol next to the word header. The header gets inserted at the top of the page. Let us now insert the date in the header. To do so, go to the insert field icon located in the standard toolbar. Now, click on the down arrow icon and select the date option from the list. The current date is displayed in the header area. You can edit this to any date of your choice if you wish. To change the date format, double click on the date. Here we will select the format as 31st December 1999 and click on the OK button. The date format has now changed as per our selection. In case the alignment of the content has changed, please realign by pressing the backspace key. Repeat this till the text is on page 1 and column 2. Then press enter key repeatedly to align the text below the banner. Now click on the toggle print view icon in the standard toolbar. The date appears at the top of each page and the page number at the bottom. Note, header and footer will be replicated on all the pages of the document. Click on the close preview button to close the preview. Next, let us learn how to add a margin and shadow style to our document. Click on the page icon located in the sidebar deck. Under styles option, click on the more options icon or the gear icon. Page style default style dialog box opens up. There are several tabs 
which can be used to customize the page style as per our preferences. Click on the footer tab. Put a check on the footer on option if not already checked. Now set the left margin space to 1 cm by clicking on the plus symbol repeatedly. To add a border or a shadow to the footer, click on the more button. Border background dialog box opens up. Click on the borders tab if not already selected. Under the shadow style section, we can see various options to position the shadow. Select cast shadow to bottom right icon. Under the color option, gray is the default shadow color. To choose a different color, click on the down arrow. You may choose any color of your choice from the color palette box. I will choose blue. Leave all the other settings as default in the border slash background dialog box. Then click on the OK button. In the page style default style dialog box, click on the apply button and then on the OK button. Close the sidebar deck. Scroll down to see the shadow effect added to the footer. Next, we will learn how to remove the header and footer from a specific page. Let's remove header from the first page of our document. So, first click the cursor anywhere on the first page of the document. In the sidebar deck, select the styles icon. Styles panel opens up. Now, click on page styles icon and from the list, select first page option. Now, double click on the first page option. Close the sidebar deck. Observe that the header and footer are now removed only from the first page. You may need to readjust the text alignment once again as shown. Next, let us learn about footnotes and endnotes in Writer. Footnotes appear at the bottom of the page on which they are referred. Whereas, endnotes are collected at the end of a document or chapter. The anchor for the note is inserted at the current cursor position. Anchor helps users to go directly to a particular part of the page. You can choose between automatic numbering or a custom symbol for the notes. Let us see how the footnote can be added to a word in the document. Select the word Apache license from the second paragraph in column 1 of page 1. In the standard toolbar, click on the insert footnote icon. We can also insert footnote in our document by clicking on the insert menu. Then click on the footnote and endnote and select the footnote option. Both ways, the footnote is added to our document with the character as 1. Let's type the text for our footnote. Type open source software license. In a similar way, let's add another footnote in our document. Select the word copy left from the second column on page 1. Click on the insert footnote icon in the standard toolbar. One more footnote gets added to our page, this time under the second column. Now type the text for the footnote as permissive license. Let's click on character 1 in the footnote under column 1. We are directed to the word Apache license in the document. Notice the character 1 next to the word Apache license. This is the anchor of the inserted footnote. Hover the cursor over this anchor slowly. The cursor turns into a pointing finger. Now click on it. We are immediately directed to the bottom of the page where the footnote is recorded. The character option is used to define the character or symbol for the current footnote. Let me demonstrate how to change the character for footnote 1. Scroll back and place the cursor between the word license and footnote anchor 1. Then right click and select the footnote or endnote option. 
edit footnote and note dialog box opens up numbering is the type of numbering that we want to use for footnotes and end notes the automatic options automatically assigns number to the footnotes or end notes click on the choose button next to the character field select the asterisk character and click on the ok button click the ok button to close the edit dialog box the character of footnote 1 is now set to asterisk symbol click on the anchor footnote 1 is now seen as an asterisk symbol we can also see that our second footnote has now turned to numerical 1 now let us change the character of footnote 1 back to numerical scroll back up and place the cursor between the word license and footnote anchor asterisk then right click and select the footnote or endnote option edit footnote endnote dialog box opens up under the numbering option select automatic and then click on the ok button we can see the asterisk symbol has changed to numerical once again scroll down and look at the footnotes and observe the changes let's learn to highlight the footnotes click on any one footnote text look at the formatting drop down at the top left which says footnote click on the drop down arrow now click on the drop down next to footnote and select edit style paragraph style footnote dialog box opens up click on the highlighting tab and then on color tab in the color palette choose a highlight color i will choose yellow at the bottom click on the apply button and then on the okay button look at the footnotes and observe the highlight next i will demonstrate how to add an end note in our document select the word mozilla public license from paragraph 2 in column 1 of page 1 click on the insert end note icon located in the standard toolbar end note gets added at the end of the document on a new page if a document has a chapters then the end note will appear at the end of each chapter type the following text in the end note an open source slash free software license we can change the default roman numerals to other style options also to do so click on the tools menu and then select the footnote and end notes option footnote slash end note settings dialog box opens up under the end notes tab we see the auto numbering section using this option we can change the numbering style as per our choice you may explore this further on your own close the dialog box by clicking on x icon now let us see all the changes and close the file this brings us to the end of this tutorial let us summarize in this tutorial we learned how to insert header insert footer remove header and footer from the first page insert footnote and endnote in a document as an assignment open practice.odt file add a header and footer to the document insert your name in the header insert page count in the footer add an end note stating where the page ends the video at the following link summarizes the spoken tutorial project please download and watch it we conduct workshops using spoken tutorials and give certificates for more details please contact us post your timed queries in this forum the spoken tutorial project is funded by mhrd government of india this tutorial was originally contributed by desi kri solution private limited in 2011 this is prati kamle along with the spoken tutorial team from iit bombay signing off thank you for watching